First step in something I've been wanting to do most of my life. I've got the package here. Just popped it open, decided I'm gonna do a video thing here on it. So anyway, open it up and show you what I'm looking at here. Got this, uh, it's actually hard to find right now because China with all the coronavirus and stuff going on, the distribution chains are drying up. So I had a hard time finding this. I found one that uh, somebody posted on Amazon for sale. I actually paid a little bit more for it than normal. The price is going up a little bit. Supply and demand, the kind of thing, you know. So anyway, got this um, Horizon Sport Club S. By uh, This is actually a ready-to-fly. Comes with everything in it. Um, I anticipate, I've been studying this out, and I anticipate on getting a, uh, a different transmitter than what this comes with because I want more capabilities, but I wanted to get this one partly so that I've got some kids that are curious about flight as well. Got this because it comes with everything in it and I can hook it up to other transmitters. And I don't really like the Spectrum brand that comes with Horizon uh, just because it, to me, they're kind of like the Apple of where the Spectrum brand, basically they try to keep it really private to their own stuff. And, and uh, there are some transmitters out there now that well, I think Jumper is one and uh, Oh, fly sky or something like that that might be able to be compatible for some of these things but this has got a safe mode on it so that if you have problems with it it's got this panic mode easy fly and it's got a beginning intermediate and expert expert level so if you're having a hard time learning how to fly and whatnot you can just flip a switch or push a button and it'll automatically level the plane and uh, makes it easier to learn how to fly. So I got this for me to start with and I will be getting another transfer eventually with this. So opening the package here, I wanna show you what I got. So this is coming from, for all those who wanna get into this hobby for the first time or has always been interested in this, this is more for you. I have had no experience in the past aside from making like balsa wood gliders and stuff. Um, never had any experience with this, so this is really coming from scratch. So open it up. This is how it comes. Looks like we got uh, the remote is right here. Open this thing up here. A little bit of packaging with it. A little zip tie there that's not attached. That's your remote. It's called I think it's called the Batman remote or Batman transmitter. So. There's and you get some Chinese batteries here. This, I believe, this is a USB charger. And this here is a teeny little battery. I mean, look at this compared to my finger. Very small. But uh, so let's take this thing out here. So it looks like first here, come around here, grab this tape. Open that up. Just comes off that easily. Let's see down here now. I know there's lots of other videos out there on this, but everything that I've seen, to be honest, everybody that's reviewing these has already had some RC experience, and I don't really. I think one of my one of my kids were really little. I uh, we bought a small airplane that the wingspan was probably about a foot wide. Didn't last very long. Battery didn't hold up. Um, so anyway, this is this is more the real deal, the first first one. So I wanted to pull this out, show it to you, and uh, so I'm going to get some boxes and stuff pulled aside, and we're going to get this thing set up and show it to you. Okay, next thing here. So let's pull this thing out. Looks like there's a little bit of of uh, plastic stuff here protecting it from those those covers there and there. So. This is the bird. All right, so what we're gonna do here is work on binding this. Get the uh, charger out. They're usually charged a little bit already, so we're gonna check that out. Set this stuff aside, a little more space. Number one thing I do know about when you're buying RC planes, do not hit the throttle, because if you hit the throttle, this thing starts to move, and if your fingers are in the way, you're gonna get chopped a bit. So so this looks like I was reading some of the instructions and after you plug this battery in here, you've got about five seconds to have that plugged in and then start to set this up. All right guys, so this is what I've decided to do. I've got the uh, charger here. I got the uh, LiPo battery here. I haven't charged it yet. I 
assuming that there's some battery charge left in there or from the manufacturer. So I just got some regular batteries. I'm going to try with those first. So let's load this in here. There's some instructions on the back here. I know you can download the, the manual online as well. So this is basically, you got the battery disconnect from here, transmitter turned off, transmitter's turned off. Um, this is the button, this is the panic button I was telling you about. So when you're flying and you get nervous, things are, or the plane's nosedive or whatever, hit that and it'll restabilize itself. You got three modes here. You've got this bottom here as a beginner. One is intermediate, two is expert or uh, full control. From what I understand for the stuff I've learned about online when I picked this, was zero, the beginner mode on the bottom, it gives you limited aileron and rudder and elevator movement. You got the intermediate that will give you a little bit more movement for all those areas. And then this top one, that completely takes out. So we're gonna hold, push this in, hold it down when I turn it on, let go, drop it to the bottom. Okay, ha, ah, we're bound. As you can see, Elevator, up and down. That's a little weird. I've heard there's sometimes some squealing with this and it just seems, it, it seems to me, I'm guessing, when you're adjusting the, uh, the, the stuff, the, the, when the servo, the servos are making a funny sound. The servos are set up like that. See now it's stopped when the servos are all even and level then it stops making the noise, but if they're in between some area, it sounds like they're making the noise a little bit. But, uh, so we are good to go with, looks like in beginner mode, I am turning the ailerons back and forth, and I've got some rudder action too. If I just do the rudder action by itself, that's there. If the rudder is doing, the rudder does move a bit in beginner mode. So it's it's helping you out a little bit. If you try to turn, it's helping you out a little bit. Looks like we might need to uh, notice the ailerons here are a little bit off in pitch. So these buttons right here, I'm guesstimating that these buttons right here are helping you, for helping you deal with the ailerons. So let's try this. I'm gonna push this. Yep, as I push the left button, I can see the ailerons adjust to the left. As I push it to the right, I can see it move to the right. So, and that's how it's working there. Got it set up and we'll go from there. Now this just showed up when I ordered this. I also ordered a uh, additional or bigger lithium ion battery. The one that comes with it is a, I think 150 milliamps. Yeah, 150 milliamps, the 1S type battery. So I think this was, wasn't very much more. So I got a 500 because those last longer. Um, and then also with the type of charger that's on this, from what I was reading online, these types of chargers don't hook into these types of, they don't have the matching plug. It doesn't, re it looks like actually it doesn't reach in there because that's like half the size doesn't reach in there. I know, uh, people on the comment section said that those fit inside, so I'm not worried about that, but it looks like you have to have this extension here to go from, you have to have this extension here to go from here to plug into this thing for charging. So I've got that just for longer um, flight time, but uh, we're looking good that way, good responses. I'm not gonna do any throttle here, but uh, Elevator works good. It's interesting because as I do the elevator, straight elevator, I'm getting a little bit of response out of the rudder. I must have been just moving that to the side a little bit. But then you got full rudder control. It's lining up when it's done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and show you some other factors here. I think I did that wrong. We're going to turn this back on. Yep. What we're supposed to do in the instructions, you're supposed to disconnect this before you turn off this. And I found that to be a little bit true too because just as I just did here, if you turn off this first, then some of your ailerons and rudders and stuff like that will shift way off. 
and it'll kind of throw them off and I don't want to store it like that. I want to be able to put it back in the box and whatnot to store. So I mentioned these buttons here are for helping with trim. And then you've got on your, you can see this here on the plane, you've got these, this is a servo here. You've got these little arms with the loop there, the use there, and there's one here. There's one on the bottom over here as well. So it, you adjust it with the trim on your remote, these buttons here. Okay, adjust with that. If you're still off a little bit, you can pinch these, pinch the little U things either closer or you can spread them apart to help make sure that these are all fine tuned. So anyway, make sure they're all lined up because you take off and those are off. That's gonna throw it off quite a bit. So anyway, that's where we're at so far. I will, uh, when I finish getting this set up for uh, heading out, I'm going to charge the battery. I'm going to get these things set up, and then I will take it to the park. And when I do that, I will show you how it goes for somebody who hasn't done this before. It's fine. Action. <laughs> All right. So we're out of the park here. First time flyer. Going to see what we can do with this and hopefully don't break it. So... We need to, if I remember right, turn on this and turn on, plug in this, and that should start to run. Good sign. Let's see here. Yes, good sign. We're square. Now they say, let me back up a little bit, over here. They say you're supposed to. Lock it like this. Check your ailerons and everything. Rudder, that's good. Okay, now we're gonna hit the. Okay. Looking good. So. All right. You ready to catch this? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that works pretty good. button to start to climb and get a little it's just going around circles <laughs> there we go Remember, I have never flown this before. I've never flown a plane before. Oh, there was a little safety thing there. I'm trying to get it turned back around. Come to me. I keep turning it the wrong way. Okay, we're just gonna hit safe and land it and go over to it. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, I'm gonna try something a little different here because I should be able to toss it to start it. I've never done that before. So we're gonna get the... <laughs> it's a good thing it's light and soft flyer. <laughs> okay, so something I'm noticing here as it's going in a circle is the rudder here is a little bit off. So that might be why it's circling a little bit more. So we got some trim here. I'm going to try to set the trim more because this rudder is hanging a little bit to one side. So we're going to adjust the trim. Uh, 
Okay, so that's straighter. Let's see if that helps us fly it, but I want to get back that way. So adjust the throttle a little bit, let it go. Oh. <laughs> a little bit more throttle. You can hear all the adjusting going on. That's the uh, safe mode kicking in. So. I don't think it'll take off in the grass. I suppose we can try it. No, it's not taking off in the grass. So. All right, try this again. Battery's hanging out the bottom. Come on, <laughs> I'm gonna fall over. Holy mackerel. <laughs> just going in circles. Uh -huh. We're just gonna let it go in circles for a second, and here in just a second, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it to us. I'm gonna see if I can do a better landing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Yeah, so this, the battery popped out a little bit. It's just got a little bit of Velcro holding it on there, right there. And the tab kind of goes over it just a little bit, but it's just got, that's all that's holding it on right there. So that can bump off a little bit to hit it, but never flown an RC airplane before. I have done RC simulation on my laptop, and I've got a generic, uh, I can't even remember the name of the brand. It's a Chinese knockoff. It's like 10 years old. But uh, I have done those before, so I've worked a little bit before with rudder and, and uh, ailerons and elevator and stuff like that. So a little bit of experience like that, but I've never flown an RC. And this thing's pretty light. I got obviously got to get used to it a little bit more. And controlling these, I'm wondering if there's a little bit of I can't feel any, but if I had my you know my big game air detector or wind detector, I'm sure I'd probably be able to detect some wind. It is kind of putting it in a circle and. It's not as responsive to the right turns as it is to the left, so and that might be some trim adjustment. But anyway, first time flyer on this, it was really fun. Um, we'll show you more in the future. Please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you again later. Thanks. Yeah.